match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Hello, it's great to be with you, and I don't think anybody is going to complain, especially about the weather. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League, coming right up. This is Nottingham Forest, up against Leeds United. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly. Pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And here's how Nottingham Forest will line up. Dean Henderson starts between the posts. Renan Lodi plays with Serge Aurier in the fullback positions. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. And a look at the starting 11 for Leeds United. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And the contest begins. Oh, what an opportunity. Couldn't make it 1-0. Maybe not quite warmed up. Well, that should have been the opener. He has to hit the target from there. Adams. And they continue to advance, and a lot of options here. And a fine cross, making sure it didn't get past him. No nonsense clearance. It looks promising, and there's the feed into the box. And he takes it on, got to it easily, the keeper. Well, it's true to say they've had their difficulties away from home. In fact, looking at the record, Stuart, they've hit rock bottom. Well, their performances on the road just haven't been good enough, have they? Just one win, and that will only change if they play with greater ambition. They have to take the game to their opponents, and today would be a great time to start. Rodrigo. Adams. Well-timed tackle. Mark Rocca. And he stopped them in their tracks. Oh, showing excellent vision. Taken away, he won the ball. Wonderful chance, wonderful block. Body in the way again. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Safe pair of hands, did his job. Rodrigo, committed challenge.
insufficient guile on the crossing front, you've got to say. And Leeds couldn't keep it. Well, it's a top-class save from a top-class goalkeeper. That's absolutely brilliant. Played over. The clearance wasn't decisive. Well, a disappointing effort, making the keeper's life a bit too easy. Well, their finishing, as the stats confirm, has been wasteful, which is a shame because their build-up play has been really inventive. They just need to be more clinical in front of goal. Harrison. He could pick out a teammate. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Well, they survived the attack. And intercepts again. Can they forge ahead? They do. And you've got to say they're good value for the lead. Well, as you can see, the defending is really poor, but he won't mind. It's a simple finish for him. Now the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Aboniyi. Now, what can they do from here? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising real chance well the keeper committed himself well can they draw level here the crowd certainly thinks so and over comes the corner not the best clearance and first class defending cleared off the line and it goes to square the game what a contest this is turning out to be Well, here it is again, and when you clear the ball, you have to get height and distance on it to give your defence time to readjust. They don't do that, it's a poor clearance, and suddenly the ball's in the back of the net. Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Morgan gives White. Oh, getting the ball forward. And let's give credit to the defending. And Forrest will get the throw in. Renan Lodi. Abonigi. And a good looking ball. Not messing around with that clearance. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. But into the keeper's gloves. Renan Lodi. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. Brendan Aronson. A real opening now. He knew he had to make the tackle and did. And possibilities here. The defender put in the challenge and it might be a red card. And it was always going.
going to be crystal clear for the referee in terms of the decision. Well, he had to make a tackle, didn't he? Unfortunately, it wasn't a good one. And there it is, the half-time whistle. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. A long way out. Well, the shot seemed like a good option, but goalkeeper's ball. Christensen, tremendous intuition to win it back. Spot on with that tackle. An opportunity to forge ahead from this corner situation. Who's going to get on the end of it? That's fine goalkeeping to hold on to the corner. Mark Roca. And return to Rodrigo. Well, trying to place that one didn't get it quite right though sloppy from Ogie well visionary passing wonderfully weighted pass not at all problematic for the goalkeeper and the timing was perfect ball one Mark Roca. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Well, it still could be dangerous. Nicely timed tackle. Breaking at pace. And a long way out. Well, the keeper kept it out with a minimum of fuss, but it wasn't a great effort. Mark Roca. And based on that challenge, you wouldn't be at all surprised if the referee reaches for his pocket. And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. Number 21, Pascal Stark. Coming onto the pitch, number two, Luke Ailey. Well, we're into the final half hour. Showing teamwork and commitment. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Rodrigo. Oh, a powerful effort. Close. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Well, as you can see, this has been a fairly open contest. Chances at both ends. Plenty of good attack in play, and it's been really entertaining. He's got the right idea with that pass. Oh, my goodness. What an outrageous hit. I can't believe he took it on from there. And neither can the goalkeeper. Well, as you can see, this catches everybody by surprise. Look where he is when he strikes it. That's a great goal. So back underway at 2-1. Tight contest here. Rodrigo. Something to worry about here. Oh, maybe the equaliser. 
And there it is, the equaliser. Down to ten men, but showing guts and determination. Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Substitution for Nottingham Forest. Coming off the pitch, number 24. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. To be replaced by number seven, Neko. And the danger clear. Message for Xavier Vicente. Brendan Aronson. Xavier, can you please go back and meet the rest of the party at the ticket office? Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Ailing. Now can they counter clinically? Well read to put an end to that attack. Nicely cut out. He might be able to profit from the wide position. And they're on the front foot, looking for a winner near the end of this game. Oh, a goal! Astonishing late drama! The ten men find themselves in front! Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance, and then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Brennan Johnson to be replaced by number 39, Chris Wood. Mark Rocca. The delivery. Well, tremendous block. Five minutes left. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw-in. This could be the equaliser, but no! When your goalkeeper comes up with a save like that late in the game, you have cause to be thankful. Well, that could be a key moment. They have to take those sort of chances. They won't get too many more, but let's credit the goalkeeper. And intercepted it. Did well to win the ball back. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. And Chris Wood... Do they have it in them to level this? Well, it didn't go to plan in the end. So the whistle for full time, and the Leeds fans are the ones who'll go home happy on the back of this victory. Well, I wasn't expecting this result, but in the end, they deserve.